Welcome to this special episode of Frequency Matters, the R from Microwave update series. I'm Pat Hindle, and I'm here with Tim Kirstein, Product Marketing Manager at Skyworks Solutions. Tim is involved in many products, but today we wanted to cover the application of high power, fail safe switches for cellular infrastructure and the high performance products that Skyworks is offering in this area. So, Tim, what is the importance of the high power, fail safe switches in the cellular infrastructure market? And what specific architectures are they used in? Yeah, so um, so high power fail safe switches are very important for TDD systems, including macro and massive MIMO. Um, the reason they're important is because if some unexpected event occurs in the system, like unplugging the antenna while the power is still on, that would destroy the receiver if you didn't have a fail safe switch. So the alternative really is. Um, if you have the fail-safe switch, then such an event wouldn't cause, as, wouldn't cause any damage at all, and you could just continue to use the receiver. On the other hand, um, you kind of compare the two. The cost of a, of a switch, which is, which is relatively small, compared to the cost of, of a brand new macro base station receiver, a radio, and the installation costs, um, you know, there's really no comparison. Other kinds of macro stations, FDD, um, these kind of switches are not required in FDD um, simply because uh, the, the receive frequency and the transmit frequency are, are at two different frequencies, right? So they use a duplexer and the duplexer is the thing that, that nullifies that. So it's really only required in a, in a TDD system. So what type of semiconductor technology is used to manufacture these type of switches and why is that the best one that is used? So for these switches we use Skyworks pin diode um, technology. So it, it's our own fab and we've been doing these pin diodes for a very long time. So, so they're very reliable. Um, it's really the best technology because it offers the, the best performance versus price um, ratio. So when I think about, you know, what's important for a switch, you think about, uh, you think about the power rating, you think about the temperature, uh, the temperature rating, you think about the reliability, the loss, the uh, relative size, the relative cost, and these switches really, really are, are well suited for all of those things. So how are these switches designed for high power and what is the maximum power ratings that Skyworks produces? So great question. Um, when we design these high power switches, um, one of the most important things besides the power rating is to understand what the maximum temperature is where these switches are going to be used. So we pay a lot of attention to the temperature as well as the power rating. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. So the first example is the Sky 12245. And this particular product has a rating of 63 watts at 115 degrees C. This is uh, this particular part is designed for a typical 4T4R or 8T8R base station, and 63 watts is, is plenty for that. Um, on the other hand, our higher power switches like the Sky 12248 or Sky 12255, um, they're designed for, for, for a lot higher. So for example, the highest power switch, the 12255, um, this particular product has a rating of 160 watts at 150 degrees C. So it's really intended more for a 2T2R or some, some DAS applications. And I wanna add one more thing about the, the first part I said. So the 12245, it has this really nice feature that I'm, that I'm very proud of <laughs> where it integrates the controller as well as the voltage booster and uh, therefore reduces the, the customer's complexity and bill of materials and cost. So you mentioned the uh, integration. So why are they offered with and without the integrated controllers and the voltage boosters? Um, so, so great question. So the 12245, as I mentioned, has these things integrated. It's a super feature um, because um, every pin diode based switch requires a controller and requires a high voltage source. Um, but because of this particular product, we integrated it, it, it just simply makes the customer design that much more straightforward. Um, with the other two products, um, the integrated voltage booster and controller are, are not there. Um, and we did this because we wanted to keep the controller cooler. Um, these are much higher power switches. So uh, we, we kept it separated on purpose because we wanted to, to keep it cooler for reliability purposes. Well, you have quite the broad offering. Uh, what do you see as the future developments in this area? 
So what I see in the near term is uh, customers are looking for higher power and also further integration. Um, from a power perspective, in, in the near term, we see 200 watts as being kind of the next step. Potentially in the far future, we we're saying up to 320 watts. Um, the Skyworks pin diode technology is, is capable of, uh, of doing that. So we're kind of looking forward, but really, you know, obviously we're, we're, we're tracking the application and, you know, trying to forecast when those applications will actually appear and, uh, you know, synchronize our, our product offering for that. Um, as far as integration, um, you know, customers always love integration. <laughs> so we're, we're basically taking something like the 12245, for example, and integrating the rest of the receive path. It's really an obvious choice. Um, customers desire that because it reduces the complexity as well as their bill of materials and PCB space. Well, Tim, thank you very much for being on Frequency Matters to educate us on the application of the high power switches in the cellular infrastructure. We hope to maybe catch up with you again when you have the higher power versions out and see how those are doing in the market. You can find out more about episodes of Frequency Matters on videos.microwavejournal.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Frequency Matters.